Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a love reading for Cancer. But it seems like the last couple ones aren't totally about love. But we'll see what comes up. I, you know, I don't sugarcoat things, and I'm not gonna pretend and it is what it is. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're concentrating on love. Can you give me one card, please? Keep in mind, this is. Um, not time specific i say that it is for january it could be at any time and this reading may or may not be for you not every single reading is king of coins could be dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn um this is somebody who is a very hard worker somebody that is down to earth somebody that this could be a farmer you could be dealing with a farmer um this person is solid. This person is uh, adventurous, um, very much focused on his family, focused on his crops, perhaps. This person um, works hard to achieve success. So you may be focusing, maybe this is you, working hard to achieve, uh, uh, achieve, <laughs> working hard to achieve success. So um, look at that. Look at all that. Look at all the money. Looking, this this person has a lot. Has money. This person um, is a planner. Very goal oriented. We, we we could have somebody here that has a daughter. Um, if you are a single cancer and you are um, on the market, you may be running into this person. Okay. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person uh, is materialistic, but they work hard for what they have. Really, really hard. Very practical, very cunning, very clever, very business oriented, loyal, stable. Likes to be outdoors, may have a daughter, may have a child. Spends a lot of time with their child, so maybe, or wants to spend time with their child, or wants a child. Um, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Now this, this is in reversed. Okay, I am going to flip this one, and I don't typically, but it's basically the same message. You need to, this is self-love. You need to love yourself, Cancer. You need to love yourself first. Before anybody else can love you, you need to love yourself. This is about self-love. This is healing love. But you have to love yourself. I love. I love myself. Therefore, somebody else can love me. I love me. You could also be falling in love. Or you could be in love with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, or they could be in love with you. Okay, it doesn't have to be whoever, it doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, this person is uh, on your mind. This person is uh, somebody that you want to build with. This person is probably your complete opposite. They probably are. But, uh, their, their, their opposites, uh, complement you, okay? Um, they're a perfect match, all right? Especially if it's a Capricorn, because they're, they're opposite, okay? That's your opposite, but it doesn't have to be a Capricorn. Whoever this person is, it's like, they're your perfect match, But you have to love yourself. Something about that fourth chakra, that's self-love. And that is I love. It's all about your heart. It's about following your heart. What do we got? The world, major completion here. We have a new beginning. When you get the world card, this is starting a new journey, starting a new chapter. You've learned something big. 
You have, this is this is victory in success for completing a chapter. You may have just completed something with this person. Whoever this person is, they are very prominent in your life. They're very prominent in your uh, learning of lessons because this is a lesson learned. And maybe it, maybe if we flip this back reverse, maybe it's about self-love. Maybe this person taught you a lesson in self-love. What you're worth. What your, what your value is. Because this is a king of value. He does come in to teach you value. What value is. So you may, somebody may have come into your life to teach you about your self-worth and your self-value. And now you've completed that lesson and you're moving on to a new chapter in your life. Um, interesting. So justice, the Empress near death experience. Somebody may, uh, have been holding on to something or they may, may still be holding on to something. I don't think so though, or they're getting close to releasing it. There's, this is like a near death experience. This is justice and karma. This is making a the right decision. This is getting what you deserve after not getting what you deserved with the Six of Pentacles reversed. Somebody wasn't getting what they deserved in a situation. So I think that there's like an increase in value here for you, Cancer. It's like you're getting some sort of blessing this is a blessing in disguise that something has ended because this is a major ending the world is a major ending something has taught you a difficult lesson and i think the lesson has been learned and you're about to i mean this is a new life and this is a new beginning you're about to embark on a new life after something was taken away this is being taken away the six of pentacles reversed okay um this is uh, somebody may have gotten fired or they may have uh they may be unemployed because you know they didn't put in effort there's been some sort of injustice. There's been abuse, okay, abuse of generosity or an abuse of power that has caused some sort of loss. Somebody was trying to do too much. They were juggling, but there's a, there's, they were making some poor decisions, trying to take on uh, another per, maybe another person's responsibilities or something like that. Somebody was was missing missing something. They were trying to do something well, and something was passing them by because they weren't seeing it because they were doing something that they shouldn't have been doing, you know. Anyway, but this is karma. This is justice. This is this is getting what you deserve after after being taken something being taken out of your life that wasn't good for you anyway. So that's what I see. I feel like there's been like a near death experience or there's been a resistance to let go of something. There's been some sort of unhealthy situation which somebody has um, held on to and it's gotten to the point where you have to let it go. You have to let it go because it's time for your new beginning. So, Cancer, I feel as though something is going to turn out in your favor and, it, and it's going to be a surprise. I think it is going to be a surprise because I think that it's time for you to get some sort of reward for making the right decision based out of self-love, whatever that was. It's like you know your value. This person taught you your value. Whoever this person was, they taught you your worth. And I think that you're about to get something that you truly deserve. And it has to do with tender, loving care because this is a mother. This is tender, loving care. This is abundance. It's an abundance of, of wealth and it's abundance of love. This is a true gift. This is a miracle. It's a delivery of some sort. You're going to get something after something has been taken away from you. And I think maybe you let it go because with that six of pentacles, you may have let it go. I feel like you may have been, uh, there's a, this is a domination. You may have been dominated by another person. There could have been a fraud here. Somebody that with, that is very uh, controlling. This is strong control. We're in, in domination could have been from a mother. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but I think that you're coming out of this dominating situation and you're going into a more balanced situation where that is more fair, that is more just, that is more what you deserve. So, Cancer, I think you are coming out of a, a situation that you have, uh, that has caused some chaos in your life. It's caused some upheaval. 
I think it's coming to an end. And I think that you're about to start a new life. Okay, this is a new beginning and this is a new life. This is the birth of a new life after experiencing a painful, painful contractions, right? You have to experience that pain to get that blessing. So a blessing is coming. A blessing of abundance. A blessing of love. You are about to be blessed with something, Cancer. This is your justice. This is, this is, whatever is coming is going to bring you balance. It's, it's, it's going, something is going to go in your favor. If there's some legal issues, they're going to go in your favor. Um, this is, you know, the justice is the laws of karma. Everything is turning out as it should. There's two sides. There's two sides to every situation. And this is no toleration for lies. Somebody's somebody's not going... Some lies are not going to be tolerated. And somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve. There could be, you know... Uh, there's going to be a just decision that is made. And it's going to be made in your favor. There could be some le legalities that come to an end. Legalities that come to an end. This is abundance, okay? Be going your own way, very capable of doing your own thing. The Nine of Pentacles. This is enjoying the finer things in life. This storm is just about over. Some of you are going to get an increase, okay? Some of you are going to get an increase in money or you're going to be starting your own business. There's definitely some abundance that is coming your way. You could be even getting an inheritance or a gift of money. Whatever, this is stability. This is gaining stability. And this is a very caring individual who may be helping you. It could be a mother. Or, or some motherly figure in your life that is going to help you in some way. She's going to help you to become stable. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We have Libra here as well. You could be leaving behind a Scorpio because it's a debt. it doesn't have to be a Scorpio. It could be a Capricorn. Um, this is you regaining your power. This is a golden opportunity. You have a you have a golden opportunity to be in charge of your life. I see self-awareness here. Manifesting. It's like you have this new doorway is opening. It's like you're in complete control now and you're it's like you're getting justice. You are getting justice for some sort of injustice. You're finally getting what you deserve. This is a wish being, this is like your answer, okay? An answer to your prayers, the magician. This is the answer to your prayers. This is protection as well. It feels like you're being protected. I feel like your action to love yourself is bringing you something really, really, really good. So, Cancer, I feel, I see that you've been in a stormy situation. The storm is over. You're about to receive a blessing, a gift. Karma is about to be served and you're getting a reward. I know that you are. And it has to do with love. It does. I know that it does. Tender love and care is coming your way. A decision. Somebody is choosing you. And you may have this. You may have uh, manifested this. This is manifestation. Manifestation. You have the power. It's like you called this in. Your wish is granted. It's time for your new beginning. You've learned that lesson. You've completed that chapter. You're about to embark on a new journey. This is a whole new life. A life of love and a life of abundance. You're, this is great. It really is. One more card. Ten of Swords. This is liberation. This is freedom. Ten of Swords reversed. 
the storm is truly over. It's the end of a painful situation. This is a rebirth. You're going to be looking very, very, very good. People are going to be drawn to you. You are going to be the pick of the litter. Be prepared to get a lot of attention. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. You're going to be glowing. I don't. I, I feel as though you're. This is a choice. Okay, a choice. You may have to make a choice during this month in regards to what you want to hold on and what you want to let go of, and that will be that'll be the deciding factor. Okay, deciding right here. That'll be the deciding factor whether you've learned your lesson or not. Should you choose to drop? Should you choose to drop what doesn't serve you? Should you choose to drop the one-sided relationship but that was unreciprocal? You will receive a reward. The choice is yours. So there's some sort of karmic justice that is coming your way in a, in a good way. I think it is in a very good way. This, the stormy weather that you have been through is over and be prepared to be blessed. Okay, be prepared to be blessed with a lot of attention and a lot of love. Good luck. <laughs>